Welcome to day 29 of our Lenten devotion series and this week we will be talking about Jesus Christ as our Redeemer. Now who is a Redeemer? A Redeemer is someone who repays, recovers, saves or even exchanges something for something else. The Bible has shown us several occasions in which Jesus Christ redeems his people from their hardship, disease or even mental illness. One of the books of the Bible that mentions God as a Redeemer is the book of Exodus. According to this book, the people of Israel were enslaved by an Egyptian ruler called Pharaoh. Pharaoh disregarded the people of Israel's humanity, cruelly enslaved them, and even ordered the sons of the Israel to be thrown into the river. Later in chapter 3, we see that God speaks to Moses through a burning bush telling him that he has seen the people's distress, heard their cry, and is going to save them. In this narrative, we see that God himself come down to save his people and redeem them from their torment. Another type of redemption may be observed in the book of Luke chapter 13, when Jesus cures a crippled woman who had an evil spirit in her, or in other words, redeems her from her sickness. The two takeaways from this passage is, is that God does not just heal us from our physical sickness, but also from our mental distress. Just like he redeemed the people of Israel, not just from their physical enslavement, but also redeemed them from their mental distress by saving them from the Egyptian and taking them to a land filled with joy and more than needed necessities. The second takeaway is in order to receive God's redemption, one must stay in the presence of God. Just like the crippled woman, she did not ask Jesus for help, but she was in the right place at the right time and in his sight. So Jesus Christ is the greatest redeemer of mankind because through his atonement, he paid for our sins and made possible the resurrection of all people. This gift of redemption is free to all who seeks God's presence and choose to remain in his sight. So this week, I'd like to leave you with a question as to how you would intend to live your life today and every day in the light of Jesus Christ's redemption.